Hi friends, welcome. I'm glad you're here. My name is Danielle, and today I'm going to be bringing Badham to you. I was thinking it might be fun to try to solve a puzzle. Maybe you've played with jigsaw puzzles before, where you take lots of little pieces and fit them together to create one bigger picture. But have you ever tried designing your own puzzle? What about a popsicle stick puzzle? Well, let's put on our designer hats and think, make, try together. First, we'll need some materials. Since this is a popsicle stick puzzle, I'm using popsicle sticks. 20 seems like a good number. I'll also use masking tape, paint and paint brushes, and some markers. And I think I'll keep a piece of paper and pencil handy just in case. To get started, line up the popsicle sticks on a flat surface, making sure that they are touching and the ends are lined up evenly. Does that look nice and even? Hmm. Looks like a few of the pieces have gotten a bit out of line. Let's nudge them back into place. Almost. There we go. Next, attach strips of the masking tape across the sticks to keep them lined up evenly together. Take your time with that tricky sticky tape. Oops, there we are. Get them all taped up together. Keep them close. There we go, I think one long one. all across, keep them all together. There we are. Once that's done, you carefully flip over all the popsicle sticks. So the tape is now on the back. Now it's time for the thinking part of our design process. What sort of image do we want to create for our puzzle? Do we want something simple, like a smiling sun or a rainbow, or something intricate, like a city or a shelf full of books? Let's sketch our ideas out on paper. I'm thinking for my puzzle, I would like a fox and a tree. If you want, you can create two puzzles by using both sides of the sticks. To make it easy to tell which side is which, you can first paint one solid color on all the sticks on just one side. For my fox and tree puzzles background, I think I'll be using my personal favorite color, blue. All right. Not too bad, huh? What do you think? Are you ready to continue on to the making step of the design process? Yeah? Well, let's get painting! When the background paint on the sticks is dry, we can use markers or paint to recreate the sketch from our plans. Then we wait for it all to completely dry again, even if it takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. All dry. And if you want to make that double-sided puzzle, then what you do is you take a few more strips of masking tape and just like before, place them across the sticks, this time on the side that we just finished coloring. When that's done, we flip it over again and we remove the strips of tape from the blank side. Off. 
That was a lot of tape we put on, remember, to keep it all in place. One more piece to go. There we are. And now this side is ready for your second design. The last step of the design process is to try. Once we've separated the sticks and mixed them all up, are we able to put them back together in order? And how about that finished image? Does it look like the idea we first had in our heads during the thinking step? How does it compare to the sketch we drew? If we want to make changes, well, that's our chance to think, make, and try all over again. Leave a comment below, or you can share a photo of what you've made with us on Instagram at Bay Area Discovery Museum. We can't wait to see what you do. Happy trying. See you next time. Bye.